you're into vintage digital watches like me, you're gonna love this video. I got an awesome Casio Marlin here that we're gonna take apart and fix. And as you can see, the LCDs burned out of it. And for whatever reason, these watches are starting to go up in value. And I was lucky to find this one for 80 bucks, but these watches came out in 1980. They're not that new at all, unlike the newer vintage line, which are plastic. These watches were metal, and there was many different versions of the Marlin throughout the 80s. And this one specifically is the H101, or in this case, the W150, but it was only 60 bucks brand new. And this watch I bought was 80 used with the burnt out LCD screen. And you might think I'm crazy for paying that much for a watch with a burnt out LCD, but if you go on eBay, they're going for well over $200 in worse shape than mine. And changing the LCD and module is super easy. I found one here for 46 bucks and really bad shape, but the LCD looked great and the light still works. So I'm gonna use this watch to specifically swap the module over into the other watch. So as you can see, the LCD is mint on this watch compared to the other watch I wanna use. It's not burnt out. And that's pretty good considering these watches are both over 40 years old. One interesting thing about this watch is that it does have a screw down case back, which is not common on Casio digital watches, but this is 100 meters of water resistance and they might've found that that sealed better. I noticed there was no spring for the beep or alarm in this watch. And I'm gonna take out the retainer clip here and pop out the module. It's really easy to pop out. It's just kind of press fit in there and it just comes out easily. I'm also wondering if this is the original resin strap that came with this watch because I know you could buy it with a strap like that but we have the blue version which was a little bit more rare and this has the stainless steel strap so I'm just going to pop out the pins here get the strap off and take the case back off. Taking a look at this module it's nice and clean clearly there's no battery so I don't know if it works but even if it does work, the LCD is burnt on it and I don't know if I'm gonna save it. If you look on eBay, there's lots on there with burnt out LCDs as well. So if you can find one that's clean, you've got a winner, but just a warning, they're gonna cost you a lot more. They're gonna be twice the price that you would normally pay, but I wanna make sure this one works and that all the digits are good on it before I swap it into the new case. And as you can see, there's no digits burnt out, so we're good to go. But before we swap that module, we'll taking a look at the bracelet, it's in really good shape. It's gonna need a buff later, but I'm gonna throw everything in the ultrasonic cleaner and let it run for a bit and get rid of some of that grime. While that's in the cleaner, I'm gonna take some isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip and clean every inch, nook and cranny on this watch. I'll clean the seal. And then I'm gonna use some poly watch on the crystal and clean up that as well to get rid of some of those swirl marks. And this watch is gonna look pretty good. It's not gonna look perfect. I could take a Dremel and possibly polish it more, but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. It's gonna be nicked up a little bit. It's an old watch and I kind of like that it has a little bit of character. Now I'm just dropping the swap module into it. This is the module 106. And this came in a few different versions of the watch. Clearly the one I had before was black and this is going into the blue one, but it's working perfectly. I love that it kind of has a yellow tint to it and that's just from age. So I dropped that silver retaining clip back on and I also put the seal back on the case back with some lube and I'm screwing that back on and we're gonna seal it up. I don't know if it's gonna have 100 meters of water resistance anymore, but it's still gonna be pretty good. This is why it has the nickname Marlin because there's a big fishy on it. I got the straps out of the ultrasonic cleaner. They look pretty good, but we need to polish this up. I got the Cape Cod polishing cloth here. It does a really good job on different types of metals. It works great on stainless steel. I'll put a link in the description if you're looking for this. It is a little messy though. You should probably use gloves and I didn't, but I'm gonna put the straps back on this and see what it looks like. It's not gonna be as good as using a Dremel with a polishing wheel on it, but I'm gonna throw it on the wrist and see if it passes the test. Casio made so many versions and variations of the Marlin, and this is my favorite model of the bunch. This one came out in 1980, like I showed before. This is the blue black version. It's got a really nice look to it, and I honestly think it holds up to the test of time. This design still works today. I actually like this better than the new vintage line they came out with. This watch is all stainless steel and has all the same features as the new one, except the bracelet and clasp are so much nicer. And I think that if you're looking for a vintage digital watch, this should be at the top of your list for your collection. I'm gonna collect a few more different colorways and variations with different modules from over the years. So make sure to get subscribed and stay tuned for that. But that's gonna be it for this video. Anything I use in the video will be linked in the description. Thanks for watching, stay fresh.